Hi, it's Neil Curtis here. This is a snippet from a longer length tutorial about how to make a WordPress site from start to finish. This snippet will show you how to embed and format Gravity Forms into your website. The next thing we need to do then is we need to add this form on the left hand side. And I did this using a plugin called Gravity Forms. It's actually a paid plugin, but it's got a lot of advantages over other free contact forms. Let's go to plugins, add new, and I'll find the plugin that I downloaded in my folder. Just install this and activate it. And now you'll see on the left hand side we've got a tab for forms. So we'll just click that and we'll add a new form. And you can call this whatever you want, but I'm going to call it sign up email. Just click create form. And it just launches a simple form builder. So we've got two fields. We've got a first name and an email field. So I'll just click on the right hand side, single line text, and it puts in this field and I'll just call it first name. And I'll I'm going to click required field and then go to advanced and click email to put in an email field. And again, I'll make this required. Just update the form. Now we'll go to the home. And then now we just need to put this form into the page. So I'll just put it in there. But actually what I need to do first, I need to refresh this page. So let's update. And now you see we've got that add form button there. So I'll just click that. Find that sign up email form that we just created. I don't want to display the name or the description. And it's gone in the wrong place because I didn't put it. So just cut it and paste it in the right place and update. So let's refresh the page. And the forms in there like we want. The formatting of the form isn't right yet. We've got some small things like the letters are capital and that submit button has different text, but that's really easy to change. We'll do that now. So we just go into forms, click on the form, and I'll just edit these fields quickly and get rid of that capital and put it lowercase. And the same with the E. And actually, I'm going to make this say no duplicates either. So that means we don't have duplicate emails being input. We go into form settings and just go down to where it's got the button. And then you see it says submit. We just change that to get updates. We save it. If we go back to the screen, you see that's changed. We've got the lowercase and it also says get updates. But obviously the major problem here is the size of these input areas. And again, this isn't too hard to change. We just need to add some CSS coding, just like we start the rest of the site. And we need to target the text fields of these forms. So what I'll do is, just so when we come back later, we know what everything is, I'm gonna copy this commented out heading and just paste it there. And I'm gonna give it a title of Gravity Form Formatting, just so we know what things are later on. Now we need to put a little bit of CSS styling in here and gravity forms is good like genesis was it's got a lot of help on the internet and a lot of code snippets so we just go into google and search for gravity forms formatting and then there's loads of help out there and i'll just click on this one here and what we want we want the css code for the text fields so there it is text fields and it's actually this, this middle one here that we want. So I'll just copy that code. Go back to our style form, paste it in there. And then this example that we just copied is actually looking at the border and changing it to red. We don't want that. So I'll just delete that code. And we actually just want to say width 100% just to make these input forms the full size of the div that they're in. So I'll just save that. 
And before we leave this, I just want to see it's got this wrapper ID of one, and that actually relates to the ID of the form and that I'll show you in a minute. So refresh this, and you see those input fields get bigger like they should. And I'll just quickly show you. So if you go to forms, we've only got one form in there, but it's got an ID of one, which has been targeted by that code. So we could have several forms here with several different IDs. If you had several forms, you would just go into the CSS and put in a different ID number if you wanted to change the attributes of the different forms. So there you have it, just a simple way to install Gravity Forms, put it on your site, and do some simple formatting to change the size of the text area. This was a short snippet that was taken from a longer tutorial, about 50 minutes long, about how to create a website from the very start to the very finish. So if you want to see more, head over to the following link and you'll be able to see this full video. Make sure you head over to neilcurtis.me where there's a lot more guides and tutorials and videos for you to check out to do with creating websites and web graphics.